Imagine a world of crushing pressure and eternal darkness, a place more mysterious to us than the surface of the moon. This is the deep ocean, our planet's final frontier. Now, China is embarking on a truly remarkable journey into this abyss. They are building a permanent home for scientists deep beneath the waves of the South China Sea. This incredible project is not just a laboratory, it is an underwater space station. It represents a monumental leap in our quest to understand the secrets that lie hidden in the profound depths. It is a bold vision, one that promises to unlock a world we have only just begun to glimpse from afar. This ambitious endeavor is taking shape far below the sunlit surface at a staggering depth of 2,000 meters. Down there, the weight of the water above is immense, a challenge that requires extraordinary technology and human ingenuity. The facility, which is planned for completion by 2030, is designed to be a long-term habitat. It will allow teams of up to six scientists to live and work for a month at a time, completely immersed in their environment. They will be the first human residents of this deep-sea realm, pioneers exploring a new and alien landscape right here on our own planet. Their work will change our relationship with the ocean forever. The location for this underwater outpost, the South China Sea, was chosen for very specific reasons. It is a region known to be rich in geological wonders and biological marvels. Hydrothermal vents, like undersea volcanoes, create unique ecosystems teeming with life that thrives without sunlight. For centuries, these depths have remained beyond our grasp, a place of myth and speculation. But now, with this permanent station, scientists will have an unprecedented opportunity to conduct long-term studies. They can observe this hidden world up close, witnessing its cycles and behaviors in a way that was previously impossible for humanity. This project is more than just a scientific mission. It is a statement of intent. By establishing a permanent presence in the deep sea, China is positioning itself at the very forefront of marine exploration. It is a grand challenge, similar in scale and ambition to the race to put humans in space decades ago. The knowledge gained here could redefine our understanding of geology, biology, and the very origins of life on Earth. We stand on the precipice of a new age of discovery, where the deepest parts of our own world are finally giving up their long-held secrets to our persistent curiosity. To build a home for humans in such a hostile environment is a task of immense complexity. The underwater station is a masterpiece of modern engineering, comparable in its intricacy to the International Space Station orbiting our planet. On the inside, it must provide everything its inhabitants need to survive and work. Breathable air, fresh water, food, and power. Advanced life support systems will recycle air and water, creating a self-sustaining bubble of life in the crushing blackness. This is a closed world, a small capsule of human presence where every resource is precious and every system is critical for survival. Connecting this deep-sea outpost to the world above is a technological marvel in itself. A sophisticated network of fiber-optic cables will snake down from the surface creating a digital lifeline. This connection will allow for real-time communication and the transmission of vast amounts of high-definition video and scientific data. It will also power a comprehensive surveillance grid, a web of sensors that will act as the station's eyes and ears. This network will monitor everything from the movements of deep-sea creatures to subtle shifts in the Earth's crust, providing a four-dimensional picture of this dynamic environment. The station will not work in isolation. It will serve as the command center for a fleet of autonomous submarines. These robotic explorers will be its loyal companions, venturing out into the surrounding darkness to map the seabed, collect samples, and perform tasks too dangerous for human divers. Some will be equipped with drills and manipulators, while others will carry sensitive cameras and sensors. Together, they extend the reach of the scientists far beyond the station's windows, creating a vast and detailed map of this previously unknown territory and its hidden features. Supporting this entire operation from the surface will be a fleet of specialized ships, 
Among them is the mighty drilling vessel Mengxiang, a ship with the incredible capability to drill deep into the ocean floor, potentially even reaching the Earth's mantle. These ships are the crucial link, delivering supplies, rotating crews, and providing the heavy-duty support needed for major construction and research tasks. This intricate dance between the surface and the deep is what makes this ambitious project possible. A symphony of technology working in harmony to open a new chapter in human exploration. One of the primary motivations for this deep sea mission is the search for new sources of energy. The floor of the South China Sea is believed to hold immense reserves of methane hydrates, often called fire ice. These are frozen deposits of natural gas, a potentially vast and cleaner energy source for the future. China estimates that these reserves could be equivalent to half of its current oil and gas deposits. By developing the technology to safely extract this fire ice, the station could help unlock a resource that may one day power our cities, reducing our reliance on traditional fossil fuels. Beyond energy, the deep seabed is a treasure chest of valuable minerals. In this part of the ocean, the rocks are rich in cobalt and nickel, metals that are essential for the technologies that define our modern world. They are used to make the advanced batteries that power everything from electric cars to smartphones. These deep sea deposits are believed to be far more concentrated than those found on land. Accessing them could secure a vital supply of rare materials needed for green technology and advanced electronics but it must be done with great care to protect the delicate ocean environment. Perhaps the most wondrous treasures of all are not mineral, but biological. The hydrothermal vents in this region are oases of life in the deep sea desert. Here, in the absence of sunlight, entire ecosystems thrive on chemicals released from the Earth's crust. Scientists have already identified over 600 unique species around these vents creatures that look like they belong on another planet. The station will allow for the continuous study of these strange and beautiful animals, from ghostly white crabs to fields of giant tube worms. We can finally learn how they survive and interact in this extreme environment. This unique life also holds incredible promise for medicine and science. The organisms that live near these vents have evolved special enzymes and biological compounds to withstand extreme heat and pressure. Some of these substances have shown potential in biotechnology and even in the development of new treatments for diseases like cancer. The underwater station will allow scientists to study these organisms in their natural habitat without harming them. This responsible approach to research could lead to groundbreaking discoveries that benefit all of humanity, all while preserving the magic of this hidden world. China's deep sea station is not just a scientific project, it is setting a new global standard for ocean exploration. By building a permanent human presence in the deep, China is demonstrating a level of technological mastery that few nations can match. This achievement is inspiring a new sense of urgency and competition around the world. Other countries, including the United States, are now accelerating their own deep sea programs. This friendly rivalry can be a powerful force for good, pushing humanity to innovate faster and explore further than ever before, much like the space race did for technology in the 20th century. However, the station's location in the South China Sea adds a layer of complexity. This is a region with long-standing territorial disputes, and the presence of such a sophisticated facility could heighten existing tensions. The station's powerful surveillance network and associated drone fleets have raised concerns among neighboring countries. Recent events, such as the recovery of Chinese underwater drones by the Philippines in 2025, have highlighted the dual-use nature of this technology. It can be used for science, but also for mapping strategic waterways, which can be perceived as a military activity by others in the region. The project represents a fundamental shift in how nations view the oceans. For centuries, the deep sea was a lawless frontier, but now it is becoming an arena for strategic influence. 
control over deep sea resources, from energy to minerals, is seen as crucial for future economic security and technological leadership. The ability to monitor underwater activities provides a significant advantage. This station, with its vast network of sensors and drones, gives China an unprecedented level of awareness in a critical part of the world's oceans, changing the strategic balance in the region. Ultimately, this underwater space station marks the dawn of a new age. We are moving from an era of brief fleeting visits to the deep sea to one of permanent settlement and continuous observation. The discoveries made here could rewrite our textbooks on biology, geology, and chemistry. It will force nations to work together to create new rules for managing and protecting these shared global commons. While challenges and competition are inevitable, the promise of this new frontier is immense. Humanity is taking its next great step, not into the stars, but down into the mysterious heart of our own blue planet.